flat is get built. We've got a white top, top bit of 21 to 47 long. Quick remove wings. And Scott, I was down here a couple of day, a couple of years ago, and we uh, talked about your little Pinocchio. And then last year, uh, I didn't get a chance, but you had the new uh, Cloudster down. Yes, sir. And uh, this was introduced at Lakeland, I believe. Yes. What's this airplane called? This is called Zing. It's a uh, wood uh, wooden fabric built. Plans are kit built. Part 103 legal ultralight. Mm -hmm. We've developed a new Kawasaki 340 liquid-cooled motor for it, and uh, it's doing real well. We flew it up here from Lafayette, Indiana. It made an excursion from Bloomington, Illinois to Lafayette and to here, approximately 500 miles, and uh, it's doing real well. Now, uh, your, plan, your aircraft in the past have uh, been able to take also the Volkswagen conversion. This aircraft that, can be? That is correct. This one is designed for a half VW full case conversion firewall mount with no CG change from the existing power plant that's on here. Now some of the other things is I know that you offer plans for all three of your airplanes? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And you're also offering um, uh, partial assemblies or... Uh, yes, we have uh, sub uh, starter kits and sub kits for all aircraft in our inventory. Okay. Now the aircraft, when uh, the customer starts to build them safe from plans, what kind of uh, plans are they? What size are they? There are 11 by 17 drawings averaging around 26 to 30 pages of drawings with an instruction booklet and we're going to be offering a optional photo construction photo album to go with those. Now, if someone was building the airplane from plans, how long do you think it would uh, take them to... Uh, are all three airplanes about the same time building time? That is correct. The Cloudster is a little quicker build because of the fuselage configuration. Uh, they all carry basically the same Clark Y built up wooden ring, wooden wing rib structures, um, but the Cloudster is a little bit faster okay. to build. So, so how long then do you feel that the average person would be building from a set of plans? Uh, I'd say anywhere from four to six hundred hours. Okay. And if they were to buy some of the uh, prefab uh, components from you? That would speed it up, that would knock a hundred hours off of it, about. Now, uh, how much do you think the average person then is going to have invested in the airplane by the time they have it up and flying? From plans. From plans then to start? Uh, they could probably build this little critter right here for around 3000 depending on the power plant. That's, that's the main key. What kind of paint are you using on it? This one here is uh, Super Flight Fabric with Randolph sealer and filler and PPG acrylic automotive enamel Dell Star. Okay. Now you mentioned you've got the new uh, a Kawasaki a little 340 uh, Kawasaki in a liquid cool. Yes. Okay, what kind of performance are you getting out of uh, the Zing with uh, that type of engine? Uh, top speed straight and level is about 75 miles an hour. It cruises 60 really nice. 55 60 at about 5800 rpm. Uh, it turns 66.50 at 75 miles an hour, and uh, it's a really, it's turned out to be a really good engine uh, with the Ivo prop combination and my redrive. Yeah. What uh, you're manufacturing the redrive for it as yes, well? Yes, I am. Okay. What uh, re reduction ratio are you offering on it then? Uh, 2.5, or I, I have a 2.8, which we are running currently on this one here. Uh, the 2.8 lets the engine turn a little bit better. Okay. Now, are you supplying uh, an engine package for the aircraft? Yes, I am. What kind of money are we looking at for the engine package? Uh, then? Complete turnkey is about $2,075 with cooling system, uh, oil injection tank, uh, everything but prop. Okay. Now, uh, have you noticed a difference between the air-cooled Kawasaki's and the liquid-cooled? Yes, is, I have. <laughs> what kind of difference are we looking uh, at? About 200 degrees on the cylinder heads. Uh, this one here, no matter where you have the throttle, runs about 200 degrees. I started out with a 340 free air Kawasaki, and uh, it was running too hot, so I went to this. This this is much better. How many horsepower is the, the liquid-cooled putting out in 340 cc? 35. The free air is 30. 
So we've gained an extra five horsepower from the liquid. Is the Kawasaki, I know that in the olden days they used to come with electric starter standard. Is electric start standard on these as well? It's got provisions, a flywheel with uh, ring gear, and uh, it's just a simple matter of bolting it on and putting a solenoid and a battery in. Okay. If somebody wanted to get more information on uh, your three little airplanes, uh, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, they would have to contact me. We just moved to a bigger facility in the country with a private strip in the backyard. And uh, they would have to contact me at uh, P.O. Box 98, or Rural Route 1. You say go with a company name first. Oh, Pops Props, uh, Rural Route 1, P.O. Box 98, Cooksville, Illinois. That's C-O-O-K-S-V-I-L-L-E, 60-61730.